The only way to be on a rock in the middle of the Pacific together is to show each other respect. We're just a part of this world. We're not the masters of it. That's my first question. How she tastes? I show you vinegar chili pepper. That's my that's my fail, that's my go-to. That's the fail safe. What? Add, add, chili, add chili pepper, make a pickle. <laughs> There's a tiny, tiny percentage of our population that actually understands their food, where it comes from, and respects it the way it should be. If you look at any island culturist, they're keenly aware of the fact that you could really screw up your ability to survive in the future if you don't maintain and care for your resources. If you're eating, you're in a relationship with your food and where it came from. It's whether or not you have the courage to actually take a good hard look at it. Because all of us humans eat and it has an impact on something. And uh, that's why I think it's super important to know where your food has come from and to go and source it yourself. Brother, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Gooch takes a world-class culinary eye and applies it to local and Hawaiian foods. I have a ton of respect for how much effort he puts into using his skills to help the community. What's up, Marky? So I hope you're catching fish. Just got some whole eel. This is for the whole eel salad, uh, opaiula. And I think I just did the math. And um, the in, other than other than any cooking oil that we're gonna use, you know, tonight's entire meal is gonna come from Okokiave, from Hawaii Island, which is which is as dope. Yo, oh! how you doing, Mr. Mark? Healy, I'll stop it. <laughs> walla, walla, walla. How you doing? How's the water? It was beautiful. So the ono, yeah? Yep. The ono is caught at like spot number one. Yeah. Looked up and it, like it startled me because I was already down. You can hear the sound. Whoa, whoa. Noise like something big was swimming really fast. This auto coming through the school of bait and hitting him. I think Gooch has got some ingredients to work with here, my friend. The spot that was really good for Hei, which is octopus, is actually halfway back home. So when I'm hunting octopus, I really like to do it in the most humane way possible. So as soon as I catch them, I actually bite their head and that causes them to immediately expire. What's all this from? So all this comes from Hirabara Farms, uh, which is right in Waimea, and then Rio Farm, which is uh, up in Waikiki Ranch. So let's see, what else? Like the Ono, the He'e. Yep. So, you know, corner what crab. I, the corner crab, we got the corner crab. There's a keeper, huh? That's a Kona crab right there. Crazy little critters. Cheers, bro. Cheers. Nice to meet you. Baby shot. Mm. Just to start. The reason for us coming together is and making a meal like this for a bunch of friends is really, it's a celebration of life in the place that you live. <laughs> Uh, the Opaiula. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So here is a little pico. And that's it. You need that connection with the environment to appreciate that you can eat well, probably better than you ever have in your life, through learning some skills, gaining some knowledge, and creating community. I want to feel connection. I want to know what environment my food is coming from, from a health perspective, and to know that I'm not taking advantage and causing negative impacts on that environment. Ridiculous. 60, 70 feet of water. That's what we do here in Hawaii. We get a bunch of friends together. We all bring something or add something to how this meal was made. Through that, you get a real appreciation for the land and the sea around us.